Hey YouTube, so we're back with a new YouTube video. Welcome back, I am Cole at Kitschy Flower. Uh, hopefully this video goes pretty well. I did get a new computer and some new video editing software, so this should be the first video I am testing it out on. So fingers crossed, future Cole has an easy time with it. Anyways, uh, today's video is pretty fun. Uh, it is a bit of an adventure kind of vlog. Um, I ended up going to Alabama for an estate sale. Um, my mom actually was going through, you know, the local estate sale site and came across something pretty magnificent. She found a Rushton in a picture. Little story before, you know, we get into the footage. Um, I did end up calling the estate sale because they were doing some pre-sale items. Um, before the sale actually happened. So I did give them a call and then they messaged me back that they were really only doing pre-sale items on the really large pieces of furniture. But um, she did tell me how much the Rushton bunny was and it was only a dollar. So I knew at that point, okay, I have to go. Um, and then she also told me like what room it was going to be in. So that was really helpful. So pretty much what we ended up doing was booked a hotel in Alabama, like less than 10 minutes away from the estate sale, drove all the way there and um, you know, had some fun in between, went to a few antique stores, but it was all worth it at the end. And roll the tape, hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we made a pit stop. We are in Alabama at Dusty Things. Um, looks pretty promising, I'll show you. The outside, I'm pretty excited. There's a big Patty Play Pal doll. I know my friend Sydney would love. Yeah, this one looks really cool. A bunch of dolls in the window. As soon as we walk in, oh my gosh, a little bit overwhelmed. There is just so much. There is what appears to be a lot of glassware, a lot of pottery. Oh my gosh. I was so keen on this little swan. Oh, they have cabinets of Madame Alexander, a bunch of larger scale dolls on top mixed throughout. I really loved this display case with the big boy coin banks. Oh my gosh, look at these huge chalkware pigs. I was in love. They were actually priced well, but obviously don't wanna try to lug those back to Georgia. They were a bit heavy. So this doll actually caught my eye. I loved her curly hair, really sweet. Also, look at this little planter. It ended up having a huge hairline crack for like 20, but it was so cute. And these doll cases, I did end up picking these up. They were a nice find. I absolutely loved these framed pictures. They were so elegant. And they had a bunch of pottery. Oh my gosh, I didn't even attempt. Pottery is so above my head. Though I am trying to learn slowly but surely, but oof, I did not want to try to pack any of that up in the car. They looked heavy. Now I am walking into this little room full of books and kind of more mantiques, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of fun. Like I said, a lot of glassware. Um, they had an abundance of cute planters. Really liked those cute little um, bird looking ones, but unfortunately had some damage on them. And I absolutely loved this candy dish. So sweet. And yeah, you're just seeing kind of an array of a little bit of this and that. This was quite the narrow hallway. And just two stores over, there was a whole different vintage store. Um, this one was awesome because they had a place to eat where we ended up eating in it as well. A lot of it was more of the kind of farmhouse kind of style, which isn't really my preference, but I can appreciate for sure. Sometimes you'll find some kitschiness mixed in there. Uh, like these raisins, uh, they were pretty fun. And the loose side grapes. 
Oof. They really did have just a lot of fun, funness mixed in there. Um, a lot of t-shirts. Oof, and look at all of these Pyrex bowls. Honestly, a lot of them were at pretty fair prices. Uh, I did love that cute pig bank. And oh my gosh, look at this cabinet. This was just so divine. If only I had the space. And I was so appreciating the fall vibes in this booth. In fact, look at this sweet uh, children's record player. This is so awesome with some of the fairy tale uh, characters. And now we are on to the next place. We are on the way to the estate sale. And we called it a wrap for that day, grabbed a drink, and we are on to the estate sale. I didn't get a lot of footage. It was a crammed one, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. But obviously I will be doing a haul at the end of this video. Look at her, ended up picking her up. On the way home, we decided to stop by the Antique District in Tennessee. I love this place. There's a bunch of cluster of antique stores back to back. And this one is always very well stocked and very fun to look at. I was loving all of the vintage Christmas. Just wait for it. Oh my goodness. Look at all of the sweet finds. Somebody really had quite the collection. So trying to go throughout, I was super intrigued at this head vase. It was just 22, which I thought was a pretty good price. And I'm not gonna lie, at this point of the video, we had been up since two, like 45 uh, for the estate sale and we were kind of tired, but we kept going. We kept pushing through, trying to find some cute finds. It was just a lot to look at. <laughs> but couldn't be happier while doing so. I spotted some awesome, creepy, cute clowns. Look at the sweet clown pose doll. He was marked 12, ended up putting him back. He had a little damage, but still just going around. Look at all the dolls, people getting ready for Halloween. I'm here for it. So I actually spotted this sweet carnival doll. I actually remembered I saw her last time. She was $21, didn't end up picking her up, but I did like this little dog, but he was about $25, so couldn't really make any wiggle room on him for resale. But look at this vinyl bank. Oh my gosh, so cool. Next off, we have some rushed in Zip monkeys, oh my gosh, so cute. Looking at the glass cabinets, those are always a good place to look. One of my favorites just so happens to be this huge Christmas cabinet. I've gotten a rushed and Santa out of here. I've gotten some pixie elves in the past out of here. It is such a great collection. Oh my gosh, you could spend at least an hour just looking at it. And it goes on and on. Um, yeah, if you're ever in Tennessee, check this place out. It is such a fun place because um, you are going to spend the whole day here. This is one of my favorite booths personally, always packed with vintage toys. They have a bunch of 80s plush, uh, some Care Bears, some Disney plush. Um, yeah, just a lot of goodness. I ended up picking up that cute little dog print, um, that tray, got this Dawn Thermos. These are hard to find. And oh my gosh, they had a Rushton Tubby Bear. Granted, he was at retail for $400. So didn't pick him up, but on to the next. I loved the sweet decorations as soon as you walk into this place. Um, they had an array of paint, so if you're in the crafty mindset, this would be a place to come. I loved these wooden plates. Those are really cute. And of course, the popcorn bunny and chick set. Really sweet on those as well. And I still love the little cup uh, bowl and plate set. And we're at more toys. Obviously picked up this squeak. 
um, and picked up a few other toys from this booth. Look at the sweet Mickey. They had more 80s plush over here. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I ended up picking up that tiger up there, already sold. And the Robin's Nest we go. Oh my gosh, they have a ton. I, of course, spot the sweet Lefton little, I think she's a sugar jar, I could be wrong. She was marked at retail, a little bit above actually, so didn't pick her up, but as we move on to the Blow Mold, Blow Mold Central, I do say so. There were a ton of them. And of course the ceramic trees. I loved this pink one. I hadn't said it before, if you love vintage Christmas, this sh vintage shopping district is for you. I absolutely love visiting. Haven't really been able to come since I moved so it was such a blast to come to Tennessee. All right, you guys, and here is everything I ended up picking up from Alabama and also Tennessee. It was quite the trip. Uh, I love that retro gumball machine. We have an array of dolls. I am in love, some rubber face plush, some tin litho toys. Uh, of course, you gotta love the chalkware, anthropomorphic guys, a bunch of doll cases, pixie elves, um, celluloid dolls, thermos thermoses, squeaks, and just so much more. I had such a blast. Um, one of my favorites is that sweet rabbit pajama bag. And of course, the Rushton I got for a dollar. You cannot beat that. Um, and you see Tuesday Taylor, some art prints from the 60s, and just so much more. It was so much fun. All right, and we are at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a fun time in Alabama shopping and going to the wonderful estate sale. Here is the wonderful prize. Uh, the Rushton Artist Bunny I got for a dollar. I have already gone ahead and fixed him up a little bit. Um, put some extra stuffing in his neck so his head stood up properly. And then he did have a, a, a small hole right here that I sewed up. But he is awesome. Um, it was definitely worth the drive, uh, the camping out at 3 a.m. Um, but it paid off. I think we got there at the estate sale at like three, a little before 315. And then somebody ended up pulling up around like, I think 345. So we ended up being first in place. It definitely paid off. What was so great about the estate sale we went to is um, the lady who was running it uh, before the sale actually started happening, she asked like the few, first few people in line what they were after. I told her, you know, I was the one who called about the bunny. So she was sweet enough to go pull the bunny um, for me. The lady behind me was after a tinsel tree or a foil tree, I should say, um, back in the 60s as well. But um, it was awesome for her to pull the items we kind of already wanted. Um, so then, you know, we didn't have to worry about trying to grab the bunny and we could kind of relax and focus on what else was at the estate sale. Which, um, everything was pretty much a dollar. There were a few pieces, um, you know, that I paid like $10 for, but most everything was like a dollar or $2. Um, it was a great sale. I so want to go back to another uh, Alabama estate sale. It was definitely worth it. Um... I've sold some of the items already in a whatnot sale, um, but this upcoming Sunday, I do have a lot more items from the estate sale. So hop on over to whatnot. I do a Sunday sale every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, link and everything will be in the bio. Be sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, I am trying to heighten the quality of my videos. Uh, so I hope, I hope uh, you can tell. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, you can find me on all other social media platforms under kitschy flower insert wherever but thank you guys so much for watching it has been such a fun one until then bye